Okay, so I got a call from these homeowners saying they had a load of bees flying in and out of their chimney. And they weren't particularly keen on that. They didn't want bees flying around and potentially stinging or terrifying their children. So they said two options. We could either kill the bees or we could try and capture them alive. And so I said, well, it's much better to try and capture them alive and they'll be a really strong colony. We can set them up. So I'm going to establish a nucleus box on the wall and get the bees to come out of the wall and go into the box. Here's what I mean by a nucleus box. This is a very small half-size beehive, which is made out of plywood, some scraps, and you can see it's just it's enough space for five frames to fit in. It has a small entrance at the front. There's lots of uh, resources online as for plans as how to make these and the dimensions, etc. So I'm going to mount this on the wall. I'll do that right now. Okay, as you can see, I've just mounted this board at the back of the nucleus box, just using a couple of screws there. And that's going to allow us to affix the, uh, the nucleus box to the wall above where this opening is. And um, I'm going to mount it just right up there. As always, when there's a cavity, um, there's often more than one entrance that the bees can go in and out of. Now here you can see loads of bees going in and out of right here. That's the main space. But above it, in that corner at the very back, there's another spot that they're going in and out of, a tiny little cavity here. So we have to, we're going to have to do um, some sort of screening in front of that as well. So we're going to block that out. And there may be even spaces further up the chimney, so who knows. It's going to be fun getting my arm in there, but we'll try it. So I'm going to make a wire screen that forms a cone outside of this area here and comes out projecting outwards like this towards the other box, which is up here. And then the next thing I'm going to do then is put some old bee comb from another hive that I have. And this is just old comb that has uh, been used by bees in the past. It's kind of dark in color and it smells nice and sweet. And so the bees that come are left outside will smell this and then go realize that it's a good place for bees to be and go in and start uh, hanging out there. Okay, so here I've rigged up this cone thing. It looks like something out of the Wizard of Oz. And the bees are supposed to be able to fly out of the cavity, but not be able to find their way back in. And as you can see here, they're pouring out of the very tip of it. There's drones and workers coming right out there. And they're having an easy time getting out, but they're not going into the nucleus box, which is a bit of a problem. So um, we'll see what we can do. Well, I thought this cone solution was going to be a great idea, but unfortunately the bees didn't really like the idea of walking up that little ladder into the new box and the duct tape started coming off the wall and so all in all it wasn't the best solution. So what to do? Okay so I rigged up a completely different system here with the same um, uke box as before but with the entrance towards the left side of the box as you see it in the movie and then at the back I built a tube that allows the bees to walk out of the old cavity in the wall and up into the back of the nuke box. And a lot of them have been doing that. And I'm going to go up there and take some frames out of the nuke box now and bring them back to my apiary, which is a couple of miles away. Okay, so here we are. This is the tube going into the back of the nuke box. And I'm going to just open the roof of it now. Or open the lid and let you see. Back of this, you can see that there's actually a lot of bees in here. So I'm going to open this up. I'll take them out frame at a time. Here we are, there's the bees in the box, absolutely crammed full. So I'm going to take several of these frames away and uh, try and establish them somewhere else. So that's going to be a little tricky. So there's the, um, the frame that I've just removed from the hive, and it's absolutely packed full of bees. And it's, uh, they've been storing nectar in that. Uh, from those, um, from that drawn comb that I put in there, so it should be nice. So there's the tube coming in from the back of the box. There's the outside, and there's the inside, and there's the last frame covered in bees. And the bottom of the box is absolutely chock full of bees. So this is a wonderful trap out. Boy, this is a great box of bees to bring home and try and establish as a new colony. However, that's going to prove difficult unless I've actually captured the queen, and it's really unlikely that that was the case. She's more than likely back behind that chimney still laying eggs. So, what are my options? I could introduce a new queen to this colony, or perhaps I could introduce a queen cell, which I've been actually raising in another hive back at my house. 
Here are some examples of queen cells. They look like peanuts, and each one of those contains a virgin queen. Of course, the third option then is to just give the colony here just a frame of eggs or very young larvae. And then this particular colony will be able to make their own queen from that. It'll take about a month to do it, but it's worthwhile.